Hey guys, I'm, uh, I'm at Dalesford Abbey in Paoli, this beautiful retreat, and I'll try to kind of circle around so you can just see some of the, the background, um, the environment here um, in Paoli. It, it's not far from, from the downtown, but it feels like you're in the middle of, of nature here um, because you are. And just had a quick, quick story that I wanted to share. Last week I was here praying and really seeking the Lord and, and really wanting to hear the Lord. And so I sat uh, in a chair out here and wanted just, again, just to listen, to, to hear his voice, spend time with the Lord. And as I, I sat down, um, a lawnmower started up and they've got these, these vast grounds and long story short, they were trimming the grass and blowing and this and that. And I, I just wanted to listen and I closed my eyes and I was trying to hear and all I heard was this, this engine. And I thought, you know, man, what a, you know, it spoiled my, my planned time to hear. And even though in my mind I knew that, you know, I, I could or should be able to, to remove the distraction of it, I couldn't. So I literally just wrestled with, with this for probably an hour. And I literally got, I, I got up to, to leave. I, I was just like, you know what? This is just a waste and I, I, I can't hear. So I went in my car and I just couldn't leave. So I sat there for a minute. I, I kind of like looked out to see if the, the lawnmower might sort of like, you know, pack it up and, and leave. And it did, it seemed. So I thought, all right, great, here you go. You know what, I'm gonna persevere. I'm gonna go back out. I'm gonna sit down, I'm gonna try again. No big deal, I lost an hour. And I went out and sure enough, right as I sat down, the thing started up again. And I was like, you gotta be kidding me. And I just prayed. And I felt like right in that moment, the Lord said to me, you all, you will hear me in my word. And so something just clicked and I thought, all right, you're right. I don't have to just sit here and just try so hard to listen when I cannot, um, clear my mind with this, with this engine, but I can, I can read your word. And so I opened my Bible and I started to read and I had a, a plan uh, that I'd already started and I, and the, the met the, the scripture for that day just called out to me it was like custom made for that day for that moment and it was so rich that I had you know two pages of notes um, and I just praise God I'm like why do I forget this time and again that the Lord speaks to us through his word so powerfully, so powerfully. Um, he speaks through prayer. He speaks through other people. But um, it was just a, a, a reminder uh, uh, of this eternal truth uh, to me that, uh, that God does this. And so I hope that this maybe is just a blessing to, to some of you. I don't know. But uh, for me, again, it was a, it was a big deal. And, uh, and so I just wanted to share that with you guys from, from, uh, you know, from, from Dalesford Abbey here and, uh, God bless you in your own reading of the word and may God make your, your heart hunger for his word. It says in the word, a deer, you know, panting, uh, for, for the truth of, of, of God's word, like water in a stream, um, which interestingly enough here. I have, uh, I've seen many, I've seen deer, I've had deer come right, right, you know, uh, within 20 feet or so of me and actually got another post coming about just quiet time with the Lord in nature and the things that he can open your eyes to about his creation. So stay tuned for that. Bless you guys.